is Fibs Exchange, the only transit hub on the North Shore. And after 50 years of neglect, it's finally getting a much needed upgrade. The timeline is fuzzy and the $30 million budget seems a bit meager. Nonetheless, we are getting some much needed bus service improvements. The bad news? Here on the North Shore, we are not getting the kind of metro or light rail service that is the very foundation of the best mass transit systems in the world. And so despite the rhetoric and the promises you may be hearing, this decade's transit plan will not provide for the North Shore the kind of real and effective mass transit relief that will ease the gridlock. There's a lot to cover in this transit story, so let's get to it. Hi, I'm Jeremy Cato, and this is the North Shore. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe. The improvements here at FIBS will take nearly two years or more to complete, and will make things rather confusing and messy for commuters, says North Vancouver's MLA. In fact, the FIBS fix looks like part of a larger plan to bring express bus service to the North Shore, something some politicians are calling bus rapid transit. It's a misleading label. BRT amounts to rubber-wheeled buses disguised as streetcars. They run on public roads, muscling out other traffic, and get some level of priority traffic treatment, though they'll still be subject to the same roadway delays that plague buses and cars right now. Express bus service will help, but it's not the stuff at the center of the world's best transit systems. What is the solution we need? This McKinsey study notes that the best world-class transit systems are grounded in metro and rail networks, with a metro or suburban rail station within one kilometer of 80% of jobs and people. Madrid, for example. Madrid's transit system is a hit with 75% of the population. I'm a bus user and I'm thankful FIBS is getting some much needed help. But as the McKinsey study notes, to get folks out of cars and relieve gridlock, the transit network needs to deliver in five areas. Availability, affordability, efficiency, convenience, and sustainability. Obviously, express bus service misses the mark in key areas such as availability, efficiency, and convenience. If elected to council in the city of North Vancouver, I will fight for real and effective mass transit for the North Shore. It's time the North Shore got its fair share of transit billions. I'm Jeremy Cato, and thanks for watching. This is the North Shore.